Hello students, this is your English lesson. Today we will read Unit 10, Export Quality from Oxford Modern English Book 7. Let's get started. First of all, words to know. This is page number 115. Aladdin's Cave A place piled high with wonderful objects. Aladdin is the hero of the Arabian Nights. Baubles, showy trinkets, brick, a rack, curiosities, old furniture, china, etc. Cottage industries, a large store selling handicrafts, etc. Decked up exasperation, dressed up and decorated in suspended irritation animation as it about to come to life labyrinth complicated structure with many passages hard to find way through a maze lacquer lacquer a kind of varnish motif a figure design or future which is used by particular craftsmen or in a particular area ostentatious a display of wealth and luxury in an attempt to attract attention palanquin a covered litter chair for one carried by four or six men Parry my way, make way by warding of others. Reminiscences, remembered incidents and events. Smiles disarmly, disarmly. Smiles so that she cannot attack or be angry with him. We and A. The Victoria and Albert Museum in London. This story is based on an extract from a novel by Lena Dingra. The author has lived in Europe after leaving Lahore at the age of 11. In this extract, adapted, she describes the experiences of a woman on a shopping trip in a large department store selling handicrafts. The comparison of the cottage industries to a department store makes me smile. Fixed prices, yes, sections for this and that, maybe, but similarities and there are, and the initial impact is more like entering Aladdin's cave than the purposeful efficiency of a department store. The entrance lobby. What is lobby? Lobby, a room providing a space out of which one or more other rooms or corridors lead, typically one near the entrance of a public building. In keeping with the prevailing spirit of the wedding season is an ostentatious, ostentatious intended to attract notice and impress others. Display of gold, glitter, color and crafts, craftsmanship. A mixture of old and new, past and present. Elaborate. Elaborate highly ornamented. Elaborate wedding uh, mises in reds and deep pinks and on it antique blank queen hiding a wheel and decked a bride, a delicately painted wooden horse with an embroidered saddle. Saddle a seat fastened on the back of a horse or other animal for riding. Saddle bearing a bejeweled, bejeweled, wearing a lot of jewelry, and brocaded groom, brass pores, carved wooden chests, and more costumes hang in suspended animation. The shop is set out on three floors, its different sections spaciously laid out in the main thoroughfare, disappear at the sides into little 
Labyrinths. Labyrinths, a place that has many confusing paths or passages, revealing furs from Kashmir, silks from China, sandalwood, rosewood, ivory, jewelry, cloth, colors made up into bags, boxes, bed covers, carpets, cloths, knick knacks, and much more. Arts and crafts from the length and breadth of the subcontinent all gathered together in stunning splendor. I stroll down the aisles. Stroll, walk in a leisurely way. Aisles, a passage between cabinets and shelves of goods in a supermarket or building. In and out of the labyrinths, with touching, looking, my mind crowding with thoughts, plan, reminiscences, reminiscences, memories, past, present, future, images, colors, sounds, smells, sandalwood, visiting cars. What a lovely idea! Could get them for Martin, no? Something more useful, maybe. I suppose I could get them for me, but then what address would I put on them later, maybe? And Mimi, my little Mimi, does to get her lots of things, lots of things, and so lots of little packets she can open. Yes, she would like that, but what? Gosh, what a nice box. Yes, a box could get her a box, could get, get her a box and fill it with bangles. Yes, that's a good idea. Now, what sort of a box? An inlaid box. Sandalwood, lacquered, leather, cloth, carved, all sorts of bangles. Silver bangles, brass bangles, enamel bangles. Enamel, a decorative glass. Lacquer bone, beaded glass, glass, glass bangles here. Upstairs, upstairs, let's see. Bangles first, upstairs. Oh my goodness, those little brocade. Per says she will love one of these, one of those, must get one or two maybe. That moon motif, very old moon motif on that fragment at the V and A, fragment from Egypt, Persian motif. Did we export cloth to Egypt that long ago? Could have done, I suppose. Must go and check with the V and A. You want these? Yes, please. He gathers up the brocade. Her says, I have collected, counts out a total of nine and places them on the counter. I fumble for my purse, wondering how old the oldest piece of cloth in the world is. Fumble, do or handle something clumsily. Where it is and how would one be sure of its age anyway? He hands me my bill and keeps the purses. You please pay at check desk upstairs, he tells me. He tells me. I climb the stairs trying to remember the name of that fabled Muslim. Fabled famous, especially by reputation. Cloth of old which was very wide and very long and yet fine enough to pass through the ring of a little finger. Do you have two rupees change? As the cashier as I observe his thumb counting the notes I have given him. I shake my head. Never mind. He smiles as he hands me 30 pesa in stamps. What these are? What do I do with these? They are stamps, he tells me. I can see they are stamps. I say a bit irritatedly. Irritatedly to cause someone to feel impatient or angry. Good, he returns. You may now collect your parcel at the delivery counter downstairs. He smiles disarmingly. Disarmingly, tending to allay suspicious or hostility. Downstairs and other queue. As I stand in it and observe that not obs absolutely everyone sticks to the rules, I reflect about systems, 
what kind of a system is this a bit of an in between system i neither hear nor their system the kind of system you are used to i collect my parcel having decided to having decided to try my luck in the system of the open bazaar as i go i notice a section for shoes and sandals close by i hesitate for only a few seconds as i remember i will choose downstairs pay upstairs collect downstairs and the system is too complicated for me and outside the sun the sugar cane juice the street stalls call as i step out into the crowded street i follow a family of four walking in front of me and so clearing the way for my fee passage soon they leave to cross the road abandoning me to party my own way down the street abandoning to leave or never return to party push something away to protect yourself threading threading through the tourists shoppers street vendors and looking for a shoe shop the first one i find bears a sign saying fixed price i stop and smile the shopkeeper is quick to notice please please you come in he calls in english as i step in i wonder if there is something different in my demeanor demeanor outward behavior or bearing or dress that makes him address me in english and i though reading my thoughts he continues in urdu as i enter the shop what can i show you please sit down i walk around the shop looking at the chapels and decide on a traditional design in natural tan i want the shade closest closest to my own skin color i sit down and he pulls down a pile for me to try on as i slip my feet in and out of them or inch them in and pull them out he busily tells me that they are all fine and assures me that each and every one of them will somehow shrink or stretch in no time to become the perfect fit in good humored exasperation exasperation a feeling of intense irritation or annoyance i exclaim but i don't want them to shrink in no time or stretch or whatever else they are supposed to do what i want to do is take off my old ones now and walk out of this shop with a pair of new ones which fit why yes of course don't worry i have got another kind which will be just fine i'll just get them from the other shop let me get you a cup of tea while you wait but i won't be very long sure enough the sweet tea is not even cool enough to drink before he returns laden with a high piles of boxes this is the very best very fine he says squatting down squatting to position yourself close to the ground balancing on the front part of your feet with your legs bent under your body and opening up the boxes the very first one i try on fits it neither squeezes nor slips but just sits comfortably on my foot i'll take these they are much better than the other ones i say oh yes of course these are very export quality very export quality what does that mean very export quality very best quality very fine very export quality outside send quality how much 800 rupees that's expensive no no very fine fixed price very export quality he repeats what about giving me a very fine fixed price he shuffles about for a moment shuffles walk by dragging one's feet along or without lifting them or so and then says 750 rupees i don't argue and he looks a bit relieved as i hand him the money and my old heel sandals 
I walk down the street, shuffling my feet to get the full feel of my comfortable new chapels. My heels drag along the ground and I begin to imagine I am taking root and almost belong system or no system. I make my way to a point I would be most likely to find a rickshaw home. I pass a cart selling cars and absently stop to look at them. Birthday cards, New Year cards, Eid greetings, different kinds and different styles. In one section there is a pile clearly catering for the foreign tourist market. One of them, a photograph in color, shows a long figure climbing into the mountains. The caption inside reads, I don't know where I am going, but I am on my way. Twenty rupees, says the man, I give them. I give them to him and take my card. I don't know where I am going, but I am on my way. And for now, I am on my way down the road towards the whore market. In my childhood, we used to come down here with our pocket money to drink the forbidden sugar cane juice, but some um, and see if we could pick up a trinket, trinket a small ornament or item of jewelry that is of little value trinket or something in the stalls the stalls have become proper bricked shops with iron grills still selling the beads baubles bangles and brick a brack but enough for today our rickshaw waits i get in the drive home i place my feet in such a way as to be able to admire my new chapels as we go along export quality x port qual the t i start to beat a rhythmic time with my foot export quality smoothly fitting home quality pinching sleeping export quality smoothly comprehension answer the following questions a why does the comparison of the cottage industries to a department store make the woman smile answer the comparison makes the lady smile because the cottage industries and a department store for at least a well designed one are nothing like each other b in what way is the display in the shop ostentatious answer the display in the shop is ostentatious because it is bright and colorful and contains things old and new elaborate and on it it is very showy see what does the word librarians paragraph 4 suggest answer a librarian is a maze and the shop was like one too it was a place in which the shopper would easily get lost and not be able to find the way out d what does the woman think about while she is wandering about in the aisles answer while in the aisles the lady's mind is full with thoughts plans reminiscences reminiscences images colors sounds and smells these thoughts are inspired by the things she can see around her E why does the cashier give the woman some stamps answer the cashier gives the lady some stamps in lieu of change f how does the woman describe the system in the cottage industries answer the lady describes the system as being an in between system one which is neither one kind nor an other g Why does the woman decide not to enter the section for shoes in the cottage industries? Give two reasons. Answer: The lady decides not to enter the shoe section because number one, the system choosing downstairs, paying upstairs, collecting downstairs is too complicated, and number two, the sunshine, sugar cane juice, and the street outside seem. far more attractive h why does the woman become exasperated in the shoe shop 
Answer: The lady becomes exasperated in the shoe shop because she wants a pair of shoes that will fit. The shoekeeper, however, keeps trying to persuade her that all the ill-fitting shoes will fit her in time. I. Why do you think the shoekeeper tells the woman that the shoes are very export quality? Answer: The shoekeeper tells the lady that the shoes are very export quality to convince her that they are are well made and better than the ones sold locally. This question is more difficult. Discuss it first. J. Is it more convenient shopping in a department store, in a mall, or on the street? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? It is easy to shopping in a mall because we can get all the necessary items on the same floor. We don't need to move from one place to another in search of different items. And disadvantages are that prices are fixed and high, and common persons cannot afford them. To answer the following with reference to context, a. But these are. What do I do with these? One who says these words and to whom? Answer. The lady says this to the man. At the cash desk upstairs in the shop. To why does the speaker not complete the first statement? Answer: She is surprised and speaks her thought out loud, but realizes that the man who has given them to her knows what they are. So she does not need to say it to him. Three. What response does she get to her question? Answer. He tells her that they are stamps. He doesn't answer her question. Four. What mood does this put her in? Answer. She is a bit irritated. B. My heels drag along the ground, and I begin to imagine I am talking. I am taking root and almost belong. System or no system? One. Why is the speaker walking in this way? Answer. She is trying to get the full feel of her comfortable new chapels. Two. To what does the speaker almost belong? Answer. She belongs to the country. She is not from the city or the country, but her new chapels make her feel she is part of the environment. Three. What system is the speaker? Referring to, answer the system she has just had experience of in the cottage industries store. See, I don't know where I am going, but I am on my way. One, where is this statement to be found? Answer, on a cart that she sees being sold from a cart. Two, does the author agree with the statement? How do we know? Answer: She does because she has just had an experience that is summed up nicely on the card. She feels it is appreciate, and she buys the card. B. Working with words. One. What is the difference between the words in each pair? Use the words in sentences of your own. Motive. A. Motive. A reason for doing something. Sentence: What was his motive for committing suicide? Motive: A decorative image or design, especially a repeated one, forming a pattern. Sentence: You can find bedding with any kind of sporting motive. B: Tropical, of relating to, occurring in. Sentence: He has brought some tropical fruits. Topical, ref uh, referring to the topics of the day or place. Sentence: Each lecture will address a different kind of social issue of topical interest.
C. Expensive. Costing a lot of money. Sentence. Her red frock looked expensive. Expansive. Covering a wide area in terms of space or scope. Sentence. She was in an expansive mood. D. Baubles. A showy but worthless or useless thing. Sentence. The girls wear pink and white baubles in their hair. Bubbles. A ball of gas that appears in a liquid. Sentence. The water began to bubble in the teapot. E. Spacious. Large and with a lot of space. Sentence. The child left the room and played in spacious hall. Specious. Seem to be right or true but really wrong and false. Sentence. Your arguments are often specious and or misguided. F. Laden. Laden heavily loaded or weighed down. Sentence. The dining table was laden with different dishes. Laden. Dull, heavy or slow. The donkey is laden with much weight that it is moving at half of its normal pace. 2. Use the following words in sentences of your own, once as a noun or adjective and once as a verb. A. Elaborate As a noun, the dancers were wearing elaborate costumes. As a verb, he was resigning but did not elaborate his reasons. B. Conduct As a noun, the president was called to court to explain his conduct. As a work, the police are conducting an investigation into last week's robbery. C. Store As a noun, his father works in a small grocery store. As a work, he stored his furniture in shop until he finds a new apartment for himself. D. Fragment Noun I could hear fragments of their conversation. As a verb, these issues are fragmenting our society. E. Wonder Wonder as a noun. We watch the fireworks show with wonder and amazement. And as a verb, what will happen next? I was just wondering. Fill in the blanks in the sentences given below. Use one of the ways shown to express the future. 1. The shop closes at noon. 2. Shaista is going to bake a cake tomorrow morning. 3. We are going to the station to meet Uncle Bob this evening. 4. The committee meets in this room at 10. 5. I shall write to my brother this afternoon. We will receive the, the letter next week. 6. The Prime Minister addresses the nation on television tonight. 7. He is coming here tonight. 8. He is leaving for Karachi in the morning. Make your own sentences about the future. Follow the instructions as above. For example, Form C, the Prime Minister is forming a new cabinet tomorrow. 1. Flow C. The farmer is plowing the field today. 
to film deep television news crew members came to film the interview 3 settle a they will settle the matter soon 4 answer b are you going to answer these questions in exams 5 shock a if you listen about the loss in if she listen about the loss in business she will shock 6 c d his job is to push a button if he sees anything suspicious thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like